Josh and Caleb. and welcome back to the channel uh we are going to go out and do some shopping uh i was watching last week's video back and i noticed something those hundred year anniversary disney blu-ray releases i'm like huh some of the i thought i had tangled on blu-ray but i do not <laughs> so uh, we're going to go back out and get some of those Blu-rays. Uh, I mean, I don't have Beauty and the Beast on Blu-ray. So, yeah. Let me, I'll flip around and get a better look. See, all the, well, this is, they did this weird thing, DVD, Blu-ray for a while. Uh, they didn't have Goofy Movie there, but they had Beauty and the Beast. They had Tangled. Uh, they had Moana, Frozen 2, they had the Aristocats, uh, I'm trying to think what else they had. They didn't have Oliver and Company, I wish they did, but we are definitely going to go get some of those 100 year anniversary releases, and anything else we might see that would be of interest, so today's going to we upgraded some horror last week. Now we're going to upgrade some Disney. It's time. You know, I, if I had a choice and everything was available on Blu-ray for Disney and Mad Tales, I would get everything on Blu-ray. I had this weird thing when I started collecting. I just got on DVD. <laughs> Like these new releases. I should have got those on Blu-ray. Anyway, you live and learn. And uh, McKay's pays up for Disney Animated Films. So, upgrade and get money back. So, it's a win-win. So, we're going to start at the, the Goodwill 96. I was going to go there last week, but we got rained out. <laughs> I never told you guys I wasn't going, so I think you figured it out, but we're going to start there this week, then go to FYA, then we'll end with Walmart, so yeah, going to be a fun day, I think, I uh, got my Corella shirt, last week was a whole lot of fun, hope you guys enjoyed that video, so many cool horror titles, I don't uh, get Scream Factory a whole lot, because they're a little pricey, kind of like Criterion. If you find them out in the wild, it's, like, the coolest thing ever, but sometimes you have to pay up for those. But, yeah, so let's get started today. I think I've rambled on enough. <laughs> let's go get some Disney. <laughs> Just trying to get to work, guys. think I would start the day by being swarmed by geese <laughs> but we're at Goodwill we're gonna go in there uh, they do they like to hang out the bank for whatever reason just around there's a, a pond over there so it's happened before I thought I would document it today but uh, yeah I have seen Disney blu-rays in here before so Maybe there's one we need. Cross my fingers. Hopefully they have some. If not, we still got FYE and I know they're at Walmart. So, no big deal. I just would like to get them a little cheaper. But, we're going to go in. I don't think it's going to rain, but it is, it is colder than last week. <laughs> so, that's pretty crazy.
did find some stuff. It's a bummer. Uh, Little Mermaid 2 was Scratch. That would have been upgrade from Clamshell. And that whole pile was scratched. Or ahead. Or a, or missing Blu-rays. Hateful 8 was missing a Blu-ray. So, got a few things. Got a couple things for Caleb. Uh, we're going to take a look at that right now. Finally upgrading Secret Life of Pets to uh, the first one I have on Blu-ray. Should have got on Blu-ray to begin with. But uh, anyway, upgrade for five bucks. All the Blu-rays are five dollars in there. Uh, so a good upgrade. I can trade in the DVD. Then upgrading the suspects. Have this on VHS. A uh, great thriller, uh, who, like a whodunit, uh, yeah, great cast, Stephen Baldwin, a uh, bunch of great guys, Kevin Pollock, uh, some great actors, uh, then this is for Caleb, uh, he likes, uh, like musical groups, movies, stuff like that, I'm not really into that kind of thing. But Hard Day's Night, The Beatles, I'm sure my dad will watch that with him. <laughs> uh, then Val Kimmer, At First Sight. Uh, I want to say I have seen this, but it has been a very long time. Then Upgrading Cat People. Uh, some good effects in here. Some practical. Uh, they... They did a lot of digital. This was like right when uh, CGI took off. And then their musical thing, Elvis Lives, the 25th anniversary concert, live from Memphis. This is for Caleb as well. All right, we got to get to FA because they have weird hours. So I want to get there before they randomly close the store. All right, let's go. Alright, we did upgrade some, a few Disney, uh, they had a thousand copies of the Little Mermaid on Blu-ray, but they did not have Little Mermaid 2 on DVD, so I'll, I'll continue to be on the lookout for that, that I would have taken a chance, but it was too scratched at Goodwill. But finally upgrading Return of the King, the animated movie. This was probably before a lot of y'all's time. I mean, it was before my time, but I grew up because it was Rankin Bass. And I grew up on a lot of their stuff. Their Christmas specials, their movies. Uh, so this is a good pickup. Uh, it says 13, but it was only 7, so... I guess all the used were on sale, kind of like last week, so that's cool. Uh, upgrading a clamshell for seven dollars. Then this rang up just twelve dollars. Uh, upgrading boat. Love this movie. John Travolta, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> uh, this, along with Tangled, got me back in to Disney animation because. Like, high school, college, I kind of quit watching them. But Bo and Tango got me back back into it. Uh, and reinvigorated my love for Disney animation, I guess you could say. Uh, so that's that's an important one for me to have on Blu-ray. So that's, that's a good deal. Uh, Rambo, this was free. <laughs> Basically. Uh, three dollar, three nine nine. Uh, I got this because I have, I got that four pack last week, but I totally forgot there was a fifth one. <laughs> Mainly because it's not that great, except for that awesome, like, 30, 40 minutes when they attack his base. Uh, so that part is brilliant, but the rest of the movie is kind of Boarsville. <laughs> Uh, I could be wrong. I need to rewatch it. That's from watching it like one time. So I'll rewatch it for sure. But 
Coat have on Blu-ray along with the others. Then Mall Rats, this was only five dollars. Uh, uh, I believe this was the last Kevin Smith movie I had to get upgrade to DVD. So that's it. That's exciting. Uh, almost got on. Uh, was it Arrow? I think did a version of this, but you know, save myself fifteen dollars, and it it was on sale at the time. So yeah. Upgrading a VHS for five dollars and Mary Poppins rang up ten. So I guess everything was like thirty percent off. I don't know, some things were fifty percent off. I guess it also depends on how many you buy and stuff like that. But I've had this on VHS and D V D for a while now. Well the D V D I got I don't know, a few several months ago. But one on Blu-ray, I have the second one on Blu-ray, Mary Poppins Returns, which a lot of people do not like, but I enjoy it. I think Emily Blunt did a great job as Mary Poppins. So, a good little haul from FYA. I was kind of crunched for time because I closed in like 20 minutes, so that's okay. Getting a late start to the day. <laughs> uh... But sometimes they close at 7, sometimes they close at 8, so I wasn't sure. So it was pushing 7, so I didn't know. They have weird hours, like I said. Alright, on to Walmart, where we are going to get some 100th Anniversary Blu-rays for Disney Animation. I'm inside, let's go. two pickups here is 820 <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do it back in the library because these these uh, blu-rays are too beautiful not to show in the light so we're gonna cut to me in my library all right we are back in the library uh, first thing upgrade well yeah they're on DVD <laughs> Upgrading the Spendables 1 through 3. Really enjoy these movies. Uh, Stallone, he directed the first one. And a uh, bunch of action stars. Very cool. Love, love all these movies. Uh, I don't know if 1 or 2 is my favorite, but very good. 3 is still pretty good, just not as good as the other 2. Then getting uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. Was nominated for Best Animated Feature at the Oscars. Lost to Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. But heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to check that out. Uh, then I got <laughs> the Rambo five movie collection i just got one through five separately uh one through four and then part five it only cost me like five stars each and cab one of those so yeah getting them all together in this nice little collection so that's cool love also love the slip cover i'm not a slip cover guy but that's better than that one. <laughs> so yeah, getting that. So Caleb got get is getting all of the Rambo's on Blu-ray. 
Uh, then here's the 100th anniversary Disney animated films that I got. All these I had on DVD, except this one I have like 20 times. <laughs> but a variation I did not have, and it comes with a pen. So being a fan of 101 Dalmatians, had to grab it. Uh, it might have some different special features, too. I don't know. I've got 20 var variations of this movie. Love it so, so much. Uh, I'm wearing a Corel my Corella shirt, so, yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, then upgrading Moana. Uh... First time I watched this, wasn't really a big fan, but I, I've enjoyed it in future, in, after the first time I watch it. After several more viewings, I've grown to love it, uh, so much. Rock, the Rock is great in there. Uh, good movie. Not, like, top 20 all-time or anything. This one is... Uh, Beauty and the Beast, I've had, I have them um, DVD, uh, so yeah, time to upgrade to Blu-ray, these are all Blu-ray DVD, I believe, uh, yeah, Blu-ray DVD, so that's cool, and they all come with a collectible pin, only at Walmart, so that's cool, then the Aristocats, that is cool. I have a weird release of that. It's like a DVD Blu-ray versus other way around Blu-ray DVD. So cool to upgrade that. Uh, Tangled. Uh, I've had on DVD since it was released. Uh, that was when I was just getting DVDs of everything. <laughs> Hadn't really transitioned to Blu-ray yet. Then Frozen 2, this just came out recently. Somehow, I had it on DVD. So, that is cool. I'm going to line them up here. This is... Uh, they're at Walmart. I don't know how long they will be at Walmart. But, yeah. Cool little upgrade. Last week, I splurged a little upgrade some horror... This week, upgrade some blu some Disney Blu-rays. On top of that, I got a bolt. If I can get it. Wow. <laughs> there we go. And bolt. So some Disney Blu-rays and some other stuff. So great, great day of thrifting. Shopping, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll get our go ahead and get our upgrades. One, two. Wish they had Oliver and Company in the set, but they're weird about which ones they release. Uh, that's four. Then boat. I think that's it. Oh, Aristocats, where is that? Oh, totally walked right by that. See, includes DVD and Blu-ray. That's just a weird... I prefer my Blu-rays to be in Blu-ray cases. So, yeah, uh, we're going to turn it around and do the outro. Let's see, wearing my Corella shirt. So yeah, a uh, cool little day today, upgrading some Disney, these are so cool. Uh, again, don't know how long they'll be at Walmart, but if you need any of those, that I showed all of them that they have at Walmart, if you need any of those, definitely go out before they're gone. <laughs> because Disney is weird about putting stuff back in the vault and then... You know, but the main animated films they release like 
every year at least. <laughs> so that's cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's video. I'm Josh. More videos coming as always. And until then, if I don't see you out thrifting or at Walt Disney World, I will see you at the movies. Bye.